So, ever wondered what a zombie outbreak in your own hometown might look like? This is the game for you. Infection Free Zone. Which lets you play anywhere in the world. So, I dabbled with this a little bit. Uh, in my own hometown, in the south of the Netherlands. I think I've put in one or two hours. So I'm not that experienced with it, but we are starting a new game. And I was looking for a location and I couldn't think of any. And then I remembered my trip through Scandinavia and a town called Frederikstad. So this is an old fortress town. And I remember reading at the time that this fortress was never taken. It was never invaded. So perfect place for a headquarters in a zombie invasion. So we are starting a new game. We are going to Frederikstad. Let's see. Frederikstad Municipality. And here we go. Um, so the part I'm talking about is this part right here. I can't move the map, but <laughs> this is the part where I'm referring to. So it's a star fortress, a half star fortress, basically. I visited this, I think, 10 years ago or something. But I remember this fortress is never taken, never invaded. So it's perfect in a situation like this. So I can't get the starting area exactly in the middle of it. But that doesn't matter too much because we have the surrounding tiles as well. So we are going to start here. Let's go. We see... There's zero f hmm, shit. <laughs> zero wood. No trees at all. That might be a problem. So it's also surrounded by water. The zombies do travel through water, but slower. So every map has its pros and cons. The only thing I'm a bit worried about is we are in Norway, so it's so it's pretty far north. If we look at the temperature, it's minus 6, minus, or minus 6 till 20, so... But we have to look at our farming a little bit, because we can't farm the whole year round. So food might be an issue. Let's go! So, we are going to leave everything on default. Infection-free zone of Frederikstad, I like it. We are going to leave the tutorial events on, story events, always. The flag, we keep it as it is. Let's go! Small introduction. What we call the mad virus here in Norway. It made people turn extremely violent, aggressive, and undisturbed. Soon later, it infected the king bloodthirsty, more like vampires than human. There was chaos, panic, and war for survival. Desperate people were just as dangerous as the virus itself. Infection spread quickly toward the entire world. Every region, every country, every city. Drastic measures were taken to get rid of the infected, but they all failed. The last chance for those who seemed to need it was to hide in the neighborhood shelters. Ones that were improvised in garages and basements. Loaded with water and infiltration systems. These were the places where we survived, concealed from the outside. So long, they waited for him to save them. Henry and the crew were curing the pain. The situation stabilized. Instead, listening to the war, they brought them. Our resources were becoming depleted. Life support systems were failing. And just as we were losing all hope, we received. This was the impulse we needed. There were clues out there. We could come back to the surface. Do more hiding. From the ruins of the old world, we will build our new home. And there we go. Build our new home. So, oh. So, here it is. So this is our starting area. 
and we have to pick an HQ. Shit. <laughs> I kind of hope, because walls are a thing in the game, so if there are walls in real life, there will be walls in the game. There are no walls here, so we have to build them ourselves, which will be a massive undertaking. But we can do it. As I said, we are surrounded by water, so zombies can go through water, but we will be slowed down. So we are no, not... So we have a little bit of a defense. So I, yeah, I like it. Let's go. We pick this place. What's this? We have, we have a cemetery in the neighborhood, so if something goes wrong, well, there you go. Uh, but we have to pick our HQ. So, you can pick any building as an HQ. But the thing is, the thing I learned, don't pick a building that's too large. Because the, the squads that we make will hide in the center of the building and have a field of view. And attack from the building. If you have a building too great, the building will fall into the field of view. Or outside the field of view, should I say. So they can't shoot at zombies hanging on the walls and attacking the walls. So we have to pick a building that's not too big. And I thought about the church. So yeah, I think the church is all right. There we go. So this is the church. It's the real church in real. I can't say this enough. This is exactly. Oh, sorry. We do. Look for food. Okay, so we have our first squad. Squad one. You can rename your squad, and we're going to rename it the Frederick squad. I don't know why. Seems okay. So, if we look at it, so the squad is in the building now, and we have a field of view, so they can attack from any side. If we are attacked in our HQ, they can see everything. If we have picked this building, probably the sides weren't defended. So this is a perfect building. We can explore every building, but I'm missing something. Let's see. Yeah, let's put on the, the flags as well, so you can see what it is. This is the Frederikstadt Museum. We have the Academy for, I think, Art, I think. We have a cafe here. We have Hey kiddo, what? hey kiddo, uh, Rathus Garden, Rathus is uh, municipality, what's it called in English? I forgot, somewhere where the municipality is housed. Um, like a government building, this is a gallery. So people actually still live there, this is a fortress town, but people actually still live there, it's a functioning village. But yeah, I'm kind of worried that we have to build the walls ourselves. This, this will be a massive, massive undertaking. But we can do it. It's a nice challenge. And this is what I was looking for. So all the question marks, all these buildings can be explored with our squad here. Uh, so we have a couple of so question marks. We don't know what's inside. It can be anything. Uh, here we probably find fuel. These are food canisters, I think. Yeah, crate of canned food. The books is like yeah scientific material, so we can use it for research and, uh, and stuff. And that's basically it. Uh, this icon I don't recognize. So it's yeah food, food based stuff. So you also have oh here, nice. We have also uh, we also have a. Like a doctor's office or maybe a hospital or something so we can find some uh, drugs maybe this is a government building government buildings usually have like weapons and uh, and armor you also have and i don't see it on our little island here at least i don't think we do we have another doctor's office here that's nice bunch of government buildings so i hope we find a decent amount of uh, of weapons. We are paused at the moment. You can pause the game, so we are paused at the moment. Uh, I'm looking for something. Oh, here we go. So 
these three buildings, probably government buildings as well, or maybe, yeah, this is an office, this is, has no name, <laughs> this also has no name, but usually they are police stations or other government type buildings and they mostly have weapons as well. So we have a bunch here in the, in the same corner of the map, so that's great, so we don't have to walk that far to improve our, uh, our weapon situation. Let's see. Oh, we have a spar shop. So there, yeah, that's full of food. What's this? It's probably an event hall or something. So they have defense. What's this? The Kongsten Hallen. It looked like a uh, like an event uh, event hall or something. So we're just checking out the neighborhood a little bit, so we know what we're dealing with. Another police station here, or government building here, lots of research. I like it. I like this as a spot to start with. So the map is massive. So this is our starting non tiles, but we can, if I remember correctly, we can go outside of these tiles to, uh, oh no, we can't. Okay, so I remembered it wrong. No worries. Um, so yeah. So the tutorial is on and we have story uh, missions as well, so <coughs> they will lead us through the game. But first, let's pick our squad. We have our four squad members here. We have Svera Thorson. That is something I like as well. We picked a place in Norway and all our people have Norse names. I think it's a very nice touch. So we have our four people here. We have... Um, a population of 40 so we have a squad of four we can make extra squads but one will uh, do we make a second squad let's make a second squad so they can go inside the buildings to scavenge for stuff so we still have 32 people left what they can do is basically chop wood the map said there were no trees but I see a bunch of trees here, so let's chop the trees in our little neighborhood here. Uh, they can also gather metal. Let's do that as well. 80. So they uh, destruct like the land posts and broken down cars and stuff. Uh, they also can gather bricks, but <laughs> we need those for our wall because we are going to make a brick wall. You have a bunch of wall. Uh, options you have barbed wire wood of course metal and brick um, brick is not the strongest i think metal is stronger but we use metal and wood for uh, making buildings and bricks you can only use for making walls as far as i know so it makes sense to make a brick wall so we don't use any uh, any metal or wood that we use for our buildings so let's go let's just go to the museum first with these people and um, what was this is uh, bag of grain canned food yeah i don't know which one did i send out you can go inside of this building here so what will happen because we have the church and it has a uh, living quarters and capacity for uh, resources but a tutorial fairly quick says to us that we need to make a warehouse and a uh, and some shelters so let's go speed one and there they go you see our population they go uh, our little peoples johannes burden they go and chop down the trees and we still have 12 people left over um let's go so here you can uh, distribute your population what they do so we only scavenge at the moment so everybody is scavenging no one gets a break, everybody scavenge. Chop down trees, gather metal. The way we get bricks, you can scavenge for bricks by buildings that have broken down, but we can also deconstruct buildings with this button here. And you can see if we break down this building, we get 66 wood, 79 metal and 118 bricks. So the moment we have searched the building and there's nothing left, we can actually break them down and get our resources that way. So. 
we can go to speed two, I think, because the first night I don't think you be, uh, you're getting attacked in the first night. The thing is, you only get attacked at night, with certain exceptions. Um, Mm -hmm. I agree. Food is majorly important. Oh, coming transmission. So, there it is. Like within a couple of hours, they beg for shelters. Because. Oh. Not everybody has a home yet. We have a 45 citizens, but 18 of them are homeless. So they're still on the ground. So we need to make a shelter. And we can pick any building to uh, make into a shelter. This building is actually quite nice as a shelter, I think. This building, this very big building, will make an exceptional warehouse. So we are going to convert this into a warehouse when uh, they grabbed everything. Um, do we make this into a shelter? So, shelter. So, if we make this into a shelter, we make an extra 106 living quarters, but it will cost us 143 wood. Do we have 143 wood? We don't. So, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, you can partially adapt the building, so they can only use like a part of the building as a shelter, and you can make it continue that further along. We can also pick a smaller building, but then we have to adapt the second and a third and a fourth building if we run out. So this is also a nice uh, living quarters, like a nice building. Huh. I need to make a living quarters fast though, because we homeless people are not that great. So what do we do? What do we do? Yeah, let's Partially, oh, what's this? Uh, press and drag left mouse button. I think I did. So, I forgot how many wood we have. How many wood do we have? 55. So, let's use up the 50. God damn it. Shelter. Let's use up 55. We get 40 living quarters, which we'll do for now. Uh, Let's go. So we have to. So see, now we need builders as well. So we take away some scavengers. And we put 12 on building so they can go and convert that building into, uh, into some shelters. They were done. So what I was going to say is that you. You'll probably only be attacked at night with certain exceptions. In, uh, for instance, when it's cloudy, so it's dark outside, so they will attack during the day. On the contrary, you also have nights where they don't attack if you have a full moon and it's light outside. So it's a bit balanced that way. Um, you are done collecting, so I kind of want to look in this building. So all these buildings with the question marks, they can also have zombies in them. I haven't encountered it yet, but I believe it's a possibility. So let's go to speed 3 for now. Not much happening, so we can go along a little bit faster. So the shelter is coming along fine. We only use a little bit of the building, so it won't take long. So we don't have any homeless people yet. They're happy. Oh. Incoming transmission. Already on it. We are not going to build palisades because we need wood to convert our buildings as we just established. We are going to build brick walls and the brick we get from yeah, destroying buildings uh, essentially. <laughs> it's a shame but on the other hand the zombies mostly attack buildings that we use. So if we have someone here the buildings will uh, obstruct the sign of light, uh, sign of light, 
line of sight is I want <laughs> is the thing I wanted to say. So if this will be our entrance, you can make gates. So we probably are going to put a gate here. We, we yeah, do we want a line of sight here? I kind of like it that the buildings are here, so we funnel them through the streets here. If they want to attack our HQ, they need to go through these streets. So we can play with that a little bit, that if they break through, we can funnel them here and destroy them. So let's go. So I'm kind of hoping that we find some weapons as well, maybe some protection. Let's. There's nothing left. What did you find? An extra gun, some research, and a pole arm. Probably won't help us um, that much. Okay. Um, oh, wait. Do we need to keep this open? To see the question marks? No. Really? I don't remember it that way. Maybe, yeah, maybe it is. Okay, let's leave it open because I kind of like to know which building uh, we, yeah, we searched. Okay, well, interesting. So we do. So these all uh, these all have food. Let's go. Yeah, we kind of need food. So one crate of canned food or food ration is consumed by four adult citizens or eight children each day. Our current food supply will last for two days. So we're fine. Why are you crying for food? Food shortage. We have food for two days. Maybe there's a cutoff, like if you have less food for three days, you get a warning. And I kind of agree, so let's go to this building because it has a bunch of food. It is the tourist office. No idea why there's food there, but okay, there is. Oh, incoming transmission. We are bombarded with incoming transmissions. Okay. Yeah, this is a standard, uh, standard message. Yeah, we are going to investigate. Right near the Spar supermarket as well. So, so there are some people inside. They're not that far. Okay, we have to walk all the way around. They're not that far away. So we can actually deliver the stuff you already have. I don't know why you didn't do it. So the shelters are almost done. Incoming transmission, again. Sir? Sun is getting low, yeah. So we are going to continue, but the, Sir? yeah, is this is the thing I wanted to say. The workers, so the people that are not in the squad, will return to the HQ or the shelters automatically at night. But the squads, we can do whatever. And I'm kind of going to take a risk here. Because I believe the first night you are not attacked. So, is this really the shortest route? Instead of just going this way? Okay, yeah, shoot yourself. Let's go. Ah, <coughs> oh, and it's 99%. Really? <laughs> Sorry, 18 homeless people. Someone didn't work hard enough. Oh, we find a vehicle? Really? Ooh, that's on the way as well. Cool. So, let's take the car. I do hope I remember correctly that you aren't attacked the first night. 
because we have no defenses at all. Our squad is the defense. Our two squads here. Yeah. Fuck. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's on the island as well. But we still have one, uh, one squad here. That should be enough. Get ready. We are going to go along with this uh, squad here. We'll leave them here because they might not attack. They just might just look around a bit. How many are there? There are only four as well, so... Let's go back to HQ and we'll just wait it out. So, they found the car. That's nice. You can run people... You can run them over. As I said. But we aren't going to do that because that will damage our car. <laughs> and a car is pretty valuable. But with this car, we are going to uh, go to the house here. We are going to keep an eye uh, here. So yeah, they are stuck behind the buildings because... Are they going through the buildings? So we don't funnel them through the streets? Normally they... Are no, they going inside the building? No, they are going through the buildings. That is not what I thought. Hmm. Yeah, we always accept survivors. We will make it happen. Okay, go back to the car. So they will go out on their own, but not during the night. They will, if, if it's night and they're still walking, they will look for a shelter along the way. So they'll probably reach us uh, by morning. Um, ooh, we find an extra gun as well. Let's go to the spar uh, shop. The thing about the car is we have 10 capacity instead of the 4 that uh, the people can carry. So with this supermarket here right next to it, pretty handy. Let's take advantage of it. Did they attack or something? I don't remember. Or are they they're hiding in a building? So yeah, that's what I said. Like they can hide in buildings where, every th where there's a question mark and they popped off out where? Oh, there they are. But I might not attack. See, that's just scouting, not attacking, just seeing what's going on. Probably heard some noises. We know they're in this building now. Oh no, we the they despawned outside of the line of sight. So, fog of war. Uh, oh, you're finished. You got a bunch of food. Um, let's while we're here, let's take the fuel from this. Uh, really. Oh, they're here. That's not a big issue. They will keep their distance. Okay, we got some fuel. Let's take it back to the car. And let's... Yeah, let's go back. So we can actually... The zooming is a little bit weird sometimes. Let's just keep scouting because they won't attack, at least not for now. So. And it's a short walk back to HQ. So. Um. Okay. Do we run them over? Yeah, we <laughs> we ran one over. Damaged our car. Damn it. But they're not attacking yet. They. They're keeping the distance, but we have to deal with them at some point. So we have to clear this build these buildings out as well to uh, adapt them into other buildings. Did you actually take the car <laughs> to go to the other side of the street? Jesus. Okay. So this is going to be a long night. Let's get this building. Let's. What's happening?
What are you doing? So I like to play these type of games pretty slow, yes, I, I wouldn't say slow, but at a decent pace, especially in the beginning. Once we have everything set up, I might go to speed to uh, as a default, but not at the moment. Are they going to attack though? How many are there? He has damage though. Or oh, is it still uh, when I hit him with the car, maybe? Might be it. Still bummed out that they. 99%. <laughs> Why do you take the car? Come on, dude. Clear. Building clear. What do you find? Okay, not anything of value. But... Okay, now you can take the car. I actually don't want him to take the car because it takes fuel. You can just walk it, you lazy. But you can take more stuff. So, yeah, maybe. As you can see, all the green stuff is fuel. So, fuel shouldn't be an issue. <laughs> Let's go speed too. There's not much happening. The first night is pretty uh, uneventful. There we go, in the morning. So we know it's, it is daytime. We know there are zombies in this house. Do we know the other houses as well? These are survivors. Those aren't the survivors from here though. No, they are here. So we have a couple of more survivors. I think they're neutral at the moment. We just have to wait. Oh, maybe they were fighting the zombies and that is what we heard. They can be hostile. So we have to keep our eye open, but three extra villagers to uh, add to our population can be cool. Okay, this is done. So we have no more homeless people. Uh, yeah, so citizens are satisfied with the current situation in the zone and are more willing to work. Workers efficiency plus 20%. So uh, we can build a bunch of stuff. I'm just waiting for the tutorial to say that we have to build a tower. If we build a tower now, the prompt will stay and we have to build a second one. We build a second one, but not right now. And I don't even know where to place one at the moment. Uh, maybe I do, but they will attack the tower. And yeah, We have to build a tower right next to the HQ so the HQ can defend the tower as well. So it's a bit of a thing. Incoming transmission, probably about these people here. Oh, yeah, build a tower. There we go. Yeah, we are not going to do that at the moment. Build a wooden tower. We are not even going to build a wooden tower. We are going to build a metal tower. But not at the moment. So, let's go and meet these people here. Let's see if they're friendly or hostile. Did we actually find... No, we only have guns. Or pistols, should I say. How is our construction? 63 wood, 23 metal. Don't walk away. Let's see if they're friendly or not. Come on. There we go. Cool. Accept, of course. Of course. We can always use extra people to... Damn it, I want to select the squad here. <laughs> because we need food. There are other people. Um, do we have enough shelters though? <laughs> because we only build it as far as we need it at the time. Ah. Do we have homeless people? No, we don't. Cool, no homeless people. And we have a bunch of extra workers. 
so they can gather some wood around here and maybe some metal as well oh metal is all is already done so bricks we don't need them at the moment we don't have any bricks but we can demolish some buildings later uh, you were clear so I'm mainly focused on the food right now the question marks I don't really care for at the moment food is our major uh, thing until we can make our own with farms and later on I think you can do greenhouses uh, yeah you can make greenhouses and we'll need them because the winters are long <laughs> so farms won't be that efficient for us I think so you're waiting in the car um, let's go here government building so one is scavenging for food one is scavenging for defenses and weapon we are going to stay away from this building medicine we don't really need at the moment because people are not injured or anything else building clear where are you you are here so you take some food let's go to this building <clears throat> it's going to be a, a big wall very big wall but at the moment they were attacking from inside the village so a wall isn't that big of a priority until we essentially searched every building maybe demolished a couple then we can build a wall because they won't attack from inside the village it's going to take a while but we're there for it um, did you find only pistols well don't go back for one pistol uh, let's yeah let's take our car we still have it's it's still morning so we have time let's go with your car to this building right here and let's see if there are some extra weapons or uh, maybe some defenses there your people actually get better at searching like a sort of experience thing I think some will get better in finding extra resources some might be better in the pace in which they find resources they do it quicker if they fight zombies a lot they might uh, improve their aim and damage output I think but at the moment we use our squads mainly to get stuff <laughs> we haven't fought um, I think we can start can we make can we do it no we can't make a research center yet Huh. That's something that I want to put up fairly quickly. So, yeah, let's go for food. <coughs> so, everybody at work, chopping down trees, breaking down lampposts. Oh, there they are. Hacking down lampposts for precious, precious metal. So I don't know how long this series will be, probably until we basically die, <laughs> a horrible death. Um, but I think this will be an episode like once a week, maybe every Sunday. And I might make an episode like one hour long or something. I don't want to go over one hour, it will be too long. Maybe this episode will be a little bit longer we'll see um, how's our first squad oh they are there okay how's the second squad are they almost there oh they are there so what did you find nothing yet oh a brewery that's nice so what are these buildings then there's nothing left okay uh, let's go across the streets I think we do have a no only for three days so I think we can make some farms here it's a nice place to build farms right they're essentially walled by this building we'll make some farms here 
and let this this be the soup kitchen or a cookhouse is what uh we need to build a cookhouse as well building clear which building this building okay get back to uh, get back to base how are you doing so you only find ammo then i was hoping for something more than only ammo hmm. oh well what's this frederikstad innovations park innovation something i like they i like it that they use the real uh, the real thing so i think probably this is like a school or something oh it is a school oh cool school research so what's this then social facility why do you have guns in a social facility what's this university also a school a bunch of schools very as all garages so we fuel is absolutely no issues for us no issue should i say What's this for building? Looks like a big factory or something. Hey. They have some... Uh, but we can't reach it because we don't have a bridge and... You know, surrounded by water, so... We can't go there. Oh, you're waiting. Damn it, do something then. Um, I think I want to start with scouting these build the small buildings so we can break them down maybe this small building here for bricks how are you so what did you find you're still not done 100 percent cool there's only ammo inside okay um get back to your car and we will check this building here because ammo is fine and very helpful but I kinda wanna go for some guns so we can put them in our towers pistols in a tower is fine and all but a rifle much better also has increased uh, field of view so for a tower pretty useful horde spotted really do we enter a building with a horde Oh, they're in this small house over here. <laughs> okay. Jesus. Ready for action. Let's go to speed 2 for a moment. Building clear. Building clear. Uh, let's go to this building here. Oh, evening. Search done, let's go back to HQ. How are you doing? Waiting orders. Waiting orders, what did you find? Ah, oh no, one pistol. I want a rifle. <laughs> well, you found that inside the building? Have you heard something? Oh dear. I think something really big is coming our way. Really? We're on the second day. Uh, don't track them. Just fine. We'll be ready. So we find the pistol. Uh, and are they really going to attack now? They are go they are going to attack now. Yeah, they are going to attack. So maybe we uh, maybe we'll put a tower up as. Okay. Um, let's come back. Because we kind of need you now. Okay, they follow the car. That's that's not a problem. Okay. Yeah. 
It's okay. So speed three, let's uh, wait it out. There they come. No, then not. Okay. It's probably not a bad idea to put up a tower, but with two squads in HQ, nothing can happen, I hope. No. No, we get to them before they reach the building, so. And it's almost morning. There we go. Horde spotted. Yeah, they keep walking around the island. They do. They are damaged though. It's just weird. Uh, build a wooden tower. I think we need to for. Uh, in order to go to the next step. So we are going to build a wooden tower then. Um, so they only attack from this side here. Which is. Can be crazy. So we are going to build a wooden tower here in this corner. Um, We are going to. What what is because if we build it here? Yeah, we are going to build it here in the corner. Let's get a nice tower going. There we go. Boop. Let's go. You can explore again. So is the so you can house weapons as well, right? Yeah. So. Let's give you a little bit more near. I think we have food enough, food for three days, so we can focus on some some other stuff. Uh, was there another government building? This one, and there was another one, right? I remember there being another one. Huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe not. Okay, let's keep uh, keep the food going then. Can go speak to now. Coming transmission. Oh yeah, this is uh, the same transmission we received, so we can ignore it. Okay, yeah. Now we have the what's this? Oh yeah. Okay. So we basically get a mission to build a transmission tower. Ah, oh, fuck. We need a workspace where we can experiment, re-engineer all the pre-pandemic technology. Okay, yeah. We can store all the books there too. Let's build a research center and assign the most technical minds there. Need help? Okay. <laughs> uh, how are you doing? Yeah, okay. Okay. Let's do this. Ah, oh, minor damage, minor damage. You'll survive. Okay, so now we get a mission to build a research center and... Yeah, so we can research a basic antenna. The antenna allows us to transmit a signal to get extra people to come to us. So it's very valuable if we want to expand. Um, so a research center. Where should we build our research center? So we can make this our research center with 130 scientists. That's a bit overkill. I think like 15 is probably good for now at the moment. So um, but we want to expand as well. I think this is a nice building. Maybe here, 37. We can expand a bit. Yeah, let's make this our research center. It will cost 38 wood and 47 metal, which we have abundance of. So, and when that's ready, oh, if we have any builders, which we don't. So, ah, now you come with a warehouse. Do we actually? Uh, yeah, 342, 371. 
we actually do need a warehouse. I said I do want to make this, the museum, into a warehouse. Is it viable for a warehouse? And I mean, how much will it cost us if we make this into a warehouse? 172 wood. Okay, so that's not going to happen. Um, gonna make this into a warehouse. I kind of do want to make this into a warehouse, though. This is a exceptionally well built building for a warehouse. Yeah, let's do it, but only do like a little piece of it. Uh, how much wood do we have? We can We do actually have enough wood to do it. It doesn't say how long it takes, though. But they can work on it bit by bit. Ah, quit your whining. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, let's cancel it. Let's make it a little warehouse then. Oh, oh. Uh, let's do 50 wood then. Okay, okay. We need extra people as well. Let's scavenge like 21 builders maybe. Yeah, so they can start building on this one as well. So we are building a tower, a research center and a warehouse all at the same time, which is not that good. But uh, let's get this one food. We have one place left, so you are done as well. We still need food, so let's go here. So we can make this the cookhouse, the warehouse and the, the farms in between. I think that's a very nice idea. And we can wall it off. Maybe with some wooden palisades we can do some... Uh, wood is, is wood scarce though? It says we had no trees but plenty of wood. <coughs> There's nothing left. Okay. Food. Where do we want to go? Where do we want to go? Yeah, I, I'm focused on wood, but we can find other things. And we need to start demolishing these buildings as well at some point. So let's search these, uh, this block here so we can demolish the smaller buildings. Oh, we found some grain so we can start our farms. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Very potent. Yeah. We should have a place we can cook a meal. So, yeah, but we are building so much at already. <laughs> build a cookhouse. I want to build this into a. I want to adapt this building into a cookhouse, but we need to search it first. I actually am building so much at the moment already. So, let's wait for it. The farms we can do, but there's a little tiny building here that we need to demolish so let's demolish the building as well no workers that's fine we oh, are actually finished so let's search for this building so we can adapt it later you are done so we can do this building right here Building complete. We have a tower. Tower with some pistols because we have extra pistols going. I rather had the, the assault rifles but we haven't found any yet. So we lose two people as guards but we don't need guards at the moment. So we can distribute them back as a builder. Uh, yeah, let's go. We only need guards during the night so no more to find. Uh, let's help them clean this block out. <coughs> Ready for action. Okay. Let's go to the next building. We need to pay attention though. 
if the nightfall sunset hour 1917 so before say seven o'clock we need to get the guards back there's nothing left then go to HQ if there's nothing left you can think of this yourself let's go to this little building there actually can you not take the car for these how the fuck did you find riot gear Where did, what okay well sure fair enough and, and enjoy it but as I said I don't want them to take the car for everything Abandon the vehicle, yeah, that's right, so we'll keep it there. Because they will take up fuel for these dumb little di distances, it's a, it's a shame, it's it's a waste. They can walk these small distances, I don't know. No more to find, there's a little building here. We can start demolishing this block. I think we'll leave the bigger buildings so we can adapt them into uh, stuff later. Clear. <clears throat> so we're approaching the hour mark so I might put a cut in after this night it's getting dark already it's still in the house there <laughs> task complete which task? which task? what did you do? which task? this is not done this is not done I think the metal maybe? Oh shit, before. Oh, oh no, oh no. Uh, scavenge and guard. Back on guard duty, please. And go back. Full moon. So we can. Uh, so. Yeah, good for us. And, but we don't can we ask our people to just keep building I don't think we can it's just the squads that are uh, able to go so yeah this will be a very uneventful night I hope building clear so we can look a bit further let's go to the buildings in the vicinity so we can later decide what to do with them We might find something useful, like finding F and right gear. <laughs> Maybe they found it in the police office back south there. I just have noticed they kept it for themselves. find some survivors as well because population of 49 kind of want more people can we house more people do you see that in one uh, poor conditions can we see how much housing we have total systems is 43 what is the total housing that we have can we see this I want to know how much housing we have. So we have to count ourselves. So we have 27 here, but yeah, only half full. And we have this is a full 40. So we can actually go 14 more people. So as this is a pretty uneventful evening we will play one more day including the night see what happens and we'll uh, get a cut in there ah oh, there's a building with uh, hopefully some weapons so 
Let's go for it. What, what kind of building is it? I, I have no idea. A little building behind it or something. There's a little building behind it. Okay. What did you find? With those pole arms. I want a rifle. Not a sniper rifle, a assault rifle. No more to find. Oh, there's another building here as well. When I was looking for these buildings, I didn't see any, and now there's no, no, now there are two. They were always there, but no. you can also build a daycare. I think for the children in your village, hey kiddo, is going to be the daycare. <laughs> no question about it. Okay, so let's keep building. Oh, we have one person left. We don't need a guard, so we have three unemployed people. Let's put them on the building. I think 15 scavengers and we have 27 builders, so we can finish the warehouse, finish the research center and demolish this building right here. What did you find? Another pole arm. What's with the pole arms? Let's get the research done then. All these pole arms. So when the research center is done, we have the research. We have or uh, we have five points, which is fine, I guess, especially in the beginning. Building adapted. Building adapted uh, the research center, so we can start researching now, and yeah. We start with a basic antenna, which only costs one point, takes two hours. It will take two hours, but 14 scientists. Yeah, that's nice and all, but we don't need 14 scientists. We need builders. So let's keep it at 10, no, 17 builders. So the current research will take two and a half hours, which is fine. Winter is coming. Yeah, that is why I don't have any farms yet. Prepare for winter. We do have a lot of canned food for six days now. So I'm every day is a month. So six days will basically will be sufficient for the winter time. Place is adapted. So we have our warehouse going as well with 2537 capacity, which will last quite a while, I hope. So, where did all the builders go to? To scavenge. Uh, so, why don't you have no workers? We still have some. Let's go. 25. Eh? Yeah, I want to say scavengers destroy buildings. Are they all just chopping down wood? Is that it? 29 are chopping down wood. No, we need to uh, start destroying buildings for our wall. I think we can start with that. So let's start with these little buildings here do we want to keep these i kind of want to like these small buildings There's another building right here don't bring much but they're in the way anyway and i kind of want to keep the outer buildings for now and it won't take long to uh, demolish as well so there we go only takes a couple of hours. There's a small 
don't know what, are, what it is. <laughs> Small building there. And uh, this one is search as well. This one as well. Well, it's not search, but I don't have anything to begin with. Okay. Oh, these are two, two buildings. Let's demolish this one. I don't, don't care for that one. And this building I don't care for either. Because the small buildings don't have any use. You, you can't put anything in them. You can, but it won't make sense to do that. Because of the capacity that they offer. Okay, so. Um, yeah, we need more people, man. We need more people. <coughs> There's nothing left. So what do you have? A bunch of research. Plate armor? Where did you find plate armor? What the? Where do these people find all this stuff? She also has plate armor now. Why am I not aware of this? Where did you find plate armor? Where is plate armor? Is it here? Oh yeah, plate armor. Well, I'm glad you... Okay. Right, okay. <laughs> I'm stumped. Where, where do you... But no assault rifles. I much rather you find assault rifles though. Let's go for the Academy of Art with both of them. The more people you have inside, the quicker the, the search goes. So it makes sense to do that. Ah, this is what I meant with... Uh, oh, let's uh, hear the transmission first. We're ready to build an antenna. Cool. Okay. okay, let's set up the antenna and we'll take a cut. Um, where is the antenna? There it is. So let's find a nice place for the antenna. Uh, next to the church. Is it, I think, a fine placement for, the, for an antenna. Oh. No. Oh. There we go. There we go. So we need some workers or some builders. So we get that antenna up and running as quick as possible. And in the meantime, we are going to research um, food because we want to go to the greenhouse as fast as possible as well. Farming in the first place will improve crop yields, and then we go to greenhouse. So we can also farm in the winter, I think. It doesn't say, but I just presume it does. Do we do the farming? No. There we go. Okay, so that's it for this episode. We did a lot. And with a lot I meant not that much, but we... Uh, Scouted some buildings, we built uh, some shelters, we built a warehouse, we built a research center, and we are starting with a tower. We are now starting demolishing the buildings for bricks, so maybe next episode we can slowly start building our wall around this island here. Maybe only half an island in the beginning, let's uh, put a wall right through the middle. Or maybe, uh, maybe we can start with a wall just around the perimeter that we own at the mo or own that we have at the moment so it's easy to defend and then later a second wall maybe along the outside because the, they attack the wall first so we need to defend the wall as well and we need a lot of guard towers to do that and we only have pistols at the moment which is not great for a guard tower it works but it's uh, you you can better have an assault rifle so yeah that's it for now i think next week will be the second episode and uh, let's see what happens. See you then. Bye-bye.